to another candlestick for our district. Our district is a diamond and a rock. We, the people, the business people, the small business, the big business, the police, the politicians, we want to work together to make this neighborhood a proud neighborhood for all of us. Eduardo Giraldo is a candidate for the 21st Council District in Queens, New York, and this is the office of headquarters. This special election is coming February 24, and all the candidates are fighting to get the votes of those residents in Jackson Heights, Elmus, and Corona. He has 210,000 people, 50,000 people registered to vote, and only 5,000 come out to vote. My job, which I'm accepting, is to wake up this giant, the Latino community in this district, to really be a, an intricate part of the New York, New York City. I'm sure the mayor, the voter president, whoever is running is going to make commitments to this district. But since we don't have people, people to come and vote, then they don't make no promises. And that's, that we add, that's what I'm trying to bring to my people, that our vote is valuable, that we could be poor, we could be humble, but in the vote we can make things change. I'm supporting Eduardo Giraldo because I think he's the best candidate for this district 21. This district is, uh, we have people from all over the world, especially from Latin America. Hi, my name is Javier Cárdenas and I'm supporting Eduardo Giraldo for City Council because I think he's the most proactive uh, civic leader in this community. He has a proven track record of being able to form coalitions, get people together to unify for one cause, and I think that's what Eduardo will do. He will unify the district in the most diverse district in the city. Eduardo Giraldo has the support of some union members of the city. We're supporting uh, Eduardo with building his uh, e easel boards and handing out flyers, making phone calls, and we're going to help him you know, get elected whichever way we can. I've known Eduardo for over 20 years. Eduardo has been a very active community activist. I've seen him work with the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, with the Queen's Hispanic Parade, with the immigration marches uh, a couple of years ago. So he's been a very active community. I suspect that in the City Council, he'll continue to serve the community as well as he has been serving as a private citizen. There are other candidates like George Dixon and Francisco Moya and the leader, Julissa Ferreras. I believe that I'm the best candidate, one, because I was born in, you know, I was born in New York City, raised in Queens, and I understand the importance of affordable housing, the importance of affordable childcare, but also because I've been dedicated my entire life to the empowerment and the betterment of my community. I'm the best candidate because I'm the candidate with the most experience. I have over five years experience in the city council. We're coming through very hard times in our city and we need someone that's not going to go there to learn, but someone who will know exactly what we need to do to make sure that we bring our resources back. My experience, my tenacity, and definitely my um, spirit of unifying our communities are the reasons why I'm running for city council and why I'm the best candidate. It is snowing in Jackson Heights and everybody is hoping for a brighter future.